Hello everyone, in this video we're just going to talk about getting a basic enemy AI going. So it's going to go left to right, left to right on a platform or any kind of object that you have in your game. So uh, we're going to just jump right into this. So I'm going to create an enemy sprite um, and just kind of do what we normally do for like when we're doing uh, our quick character controls in previous videos and so forth. And what we're gonna do is add the behavior of platform. And we're also gonna add another behavior, but we'll add that in a second. So first let's do platform control and then go over here and uncheck default controls. We don't want it moving if we use our up, down, left, right arrow keys. So uh, now that you have that, let's go ahead and add a new sprite and we're gonna call this platform. And we're gonna do that. And let's give this a good color. And there we go. Add a solid to this. Let's go ahead and do this for that. There we go. And now what we're going to do is have it go left to right and have it where if it hit, gets to the edge, it's gonna then turn the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and make two more sprites and this is what's gonna help us uh, make sure it doesn't fall off. So we're gonna call this left end and I'm gonna go ahead and do this and give it a different color and I'm gonna just kind of make it kind of small for here and just put it towards the end here and I am going to make one more, but I'm gonna copy this size so then it could just stay that same size. And we're gonna do right end and put it on the right side. So we have one where we're just gonna now test what we are running into and we just wanna kind of flip some things, okay? So this is actually a very simple way of approaching this, okay? So let's go ahead and click on our character. And what we want to do is add the bullet behavior. Now there's other ways to do this, but this one here is one of the most easiest ways to kind of uh, work with. Um, so we're gonna just tackle this first. Bullet pretty much goes in one direction, uh, mostly used for projectiles and so forth, but we could have it work with our character. So I'm gonna hit add. And what uh, this bullet does is um, gives us the speed, set angle, and all this kind of stuff, okay? So if I actually hit play right now, it's just gonna fly off pretty fast. So I need to slow the speed down a little bit so then it's just not too crazy. And let's go ahead and do our code. So in our event sheet, what we're going to do is we're just gonna say, when the enemy actually runs into these two items, it's gonna go back and forth. So let's go ahead and say enemy. And normally we would pick on collision with another object, but in this case, we're gonna use is overlapping another object. So we're gonna click on that, hit next, and then we're gonna choose our object. So I'm gonna say left end, and then I'm gonna make one that is the opposite. So I'm just gonna do right end. And once we do that, we can go in and do the action. And the action literally is the enemy. And if you look in the bullet area, there's one that's called bounce off object, which literally bounces off the object it is currently touching. So this is perfect because we're checking to see if it's touching left end, and which it is. It's getting triggered and you're good to go. And I kind of do this double check here just to make sure things are good. And I just move here, click on this, and go to right end, All right? And uh, the nice thing is then you could do other items if you wanted to and so forth. But with these two lines of code, you hit play, and now you kind of got your character staying on a platform, moving back and forth. And the reason why I kind of set it up this way is uh, if you have different power-ups or uh, things happening in your game, you could easily click on the type of enemy it is and change the speed and uh, what, how much gravity is on it or anything like that with this. 
You can swap platform out for the physics behavior if you wanted to. Just, you know, be careful based on what you're trying to accomplish. So give that a try as well. But this is a quick way to get your character moving back and forth when it comes to uh, basic AI type movement if you're trying to, you know, even ha have it go to that. So just a quick recap, you have uh, your platform and left end, right end, your enemy, and the bullet behavior is an important one because when you overlap these items, you want them to bounce off of those objects. And well, as long as you do that, you're good to go. And that concludes this video.